Welcome to the D45 Tech Talk, and I'm your host and instructional technology coach, Matt Granger. In this short video, we're going to look at what is Google Drive. Let's kind of build an understanding for what's really going on. You got your computer at home, you got your computer at school. You're working on a file at home, and you need to get it to school. So you email it to yourself. Right? Remember those days? Email it to yourself. Or possibly you put it on a flash drive. And then take that flash drive, pop it in at school. Now you've got a copy of the file. Got the file at home. You've got the file on the flash drive. And now you've got the file on the computer. And then you make changes to it. Maybe at school you make some changes. Um, but you forget to put it on the flash drive. So what's on the computer is not the same file that's on the flash drive. So that one is effectively gone and so that means the file here at home is the wrong one you come home you forgot to put it on the flash drive you come home you plug it in uh, it's not the same file you think maybe you lost the work you forgot to save it at school something it's a pain in the neck you've got the file in different places you can have different versions of it, get the wrong version of it. That way of transferring files, and it's outdated. You lose the flash drive along the way, on the way to a school, and you lose it. Then you don't have the file. It, it's an old-fashioned way of doing it. Now we have the cloud, and there are different cloud services, Google Drive is one, Dropbox is another, two common ones, iCloud. Right, that's kind of where everything is going now. So now you're at home, you create a file at home, and you need to get it to school, but you're not going to use the flash drive. This is where Google Drive comes in. When you are logged into your Google Drive, and you save a file to your Google Drive at home. It makes a copy of that file. It makes an identical copy of that file and it puts it up here on Google. Then when you turn your computer on at school, it makes a copy of that file and it appears on your computer at school in your Google Drive folder. Or when you log into your Google Drive. But that's not all. Now with all of our mobile devices, whatever devices you have, and if you have the Google Drive app on there, that file also appears there. So now there's no more emailing files, no more flash drive to lose or forget, no more multiple copies of the same file in different locations with the possibility that they are different versions of the file. Yes, we see here one, two, three, four, five, six copies of this file, but even though we created it here on the home computer, the one that gets saved to Google Drive that becomes file number one. That becomes the master file. If you're at school and you change that file, it goes here and then from here goes to all of the other places. So now they all have the same version. So that's kind of Google Drive or Dropbox. The cloud computing, that's what the cloud does is it allows you to save files from multiple locations and that file in the cloud becomes the master file that then gets propagated out to all the other devices connected to that account.
So that's kind of the concept of what's happening with your Google Drive. You can have multiple Google accounts. You can be logged in with a personal account. And you also have your District 45 account. They're not connected. They are separate accounts. Whenever you're doing anything within the district, then you're going to want to use that one, obviously. But you can switch between the accounts. The Google Docs, now these are different kinds of files that can be edited online, shared with other people. It used to all be called Google Docs. Now Google has separated it. That drive is your storage space and docs are like the apps. A word processing, a spreadsheet, a presentation, the different apps that you can use. And where do those get saved and stored? When you create one of those, they get saved to your Google Drive as well. And we will take a look more at the apps in another video. Hope this was helpful. I hope you understand now kind of the concept behind your Google Drive.